intuitive energy reading. This is Zakia from December is Divine 555. To all my December warriors, welcome back. To any new viewers, welcome to my channel. You're also welcome here. Sending you all peace, love, and most importantly, truth. Guys, today we're doing a um, your typical intuitive energy update. Um, but we're going to start off with a glimpse into the year 2021 okay we're gonna go month by month with um, some oracle guidance just to do a quick glimpse into what the energies are surrounding those months leading into the new year um from january into december as you know the true new year begins with the first astrological sign of aries okay but we will go ahead and get that glimpse and then we'll move into your normal um, energy update reading. Okay, guys, so we're gonna call on some help. All knowing source, divine spirit, archangels, um, Raphael, Michael, Uriel, Gabriel, Sanofon, Metatron, all the archangels and guardian angels are with me, guiding, loving, and protecting. As in the masters, 5D and above, ancestors, inner earth, and 5D and above, allow me to be the channel to bring forth truthful, clear, and precise messages for the collective. Allow me to tap into the energy of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and bring forth the most healing and important messages for those who need them the most. Thank you so much, you guys. Remember that this is a timeless reading. Um, and um, it's, it's very general. So take what resonates, let the rest go. We're reading masculine and feminine energies. Um, so don't get too caught up on the genders of the cards. Um, yeah, cross watchers are welcome. You know, feel free to reverse the rules however the energy fits with your specific storyline. Okay, a lot of times if you're a cross watcher watching for Scorpio, you will feel as if I'm speaking directly to you, and that very well may be the, be the case, but just reverse the energies however it fits. And um, again, wherever Scorpio is in your chart, this reading is for you. All right, um, if you don't know your natal chart placements, there will be a link in the description to help you discover those. So we're gonna start off with some oracle messages and um, move into the faded overall energy of the reading. And then we're gonna do your oracle glimpse into the new year before we start the reading. getting a lot of messages about sleeping and dream state um right now i'm definitely getting the energy of sleep um the message of sleep all right so either get more sleep there could be someone who's suffering from insomnia or someone who's getting a lot of activation um channels downloads in their dream state so pay attention to your dreams there could be astral travel um going on a lot of telepathy You just want peace, Scorpio, at this point. You just want peace. You just want peace. You just want the thoughts to stop, you know, or you are at a place where you are liquefying the mind and you are just trusting your intuition. You're just coming from your heart space. Like all the big questions are what you're focusing on right now. Like the big questions. Like, what is my destiny? Where am I going? What opportunities am I, am I leaving for those who come after me? Like the big, big questions. Um, Okay, 2006. Some of you could be having some deep, deep thoughts about a maternal figure. I search in search of my garden, in search of my mother's garden, I found my own. So like stepping into your identity. healing from some type of um, 
pain that involves a mother figure or even your maternal bloodline, okay? All right, Oracle guidance for Scorpio, please. You guys have Dawn, the light after the darkness. The light after the darkness. A lot of information coming in to you guys. Um, again, this is a card that totally represents Scorpio, okay? It's like the Phoenix rising. It's like, um, you know, you have to go through the dark to recognize the light within others, within yourself. And that's where you've been, you know? <laughs> I, I, I am still getting the word sleep, like a deep, deep sleep. You know, Hades, the underworld, you know, almost enjoying the process of discovering the deepest, darkest spot, uh, spaces. But here we do have um, uh, this energy of truth and rising in the sun and, you know, rising out of the ashes and um, the light after the darkness. have invisibility authenticity all right there's a light being shown um, on the deepest parts of yourself I think there's been a lot of shadow work that's been done um, by you Scorpio or someone that you are connected to energetically is um, is um, maybe recognizing parts of themselves um, that they've been hiding even from themselves Authenticity is a major theme. It's as if you have no desire to be connected to anything that's not truth, that's not authentic. And if it's something that's not clear, you're detaching from it. And that could include someone outside of yourself. This could be parts of yourself. The light after the dark and authenticity. And on the bottom of the deck, we have midnight, the most magical hour of all. I feel as though there's an energy here of time running out, an illusion coming to an end. You know, we all know that time is an illusion Time is uh, connected to Saturn energy, so this has something to do with a, a Capricorn. I'm getting um, your energy, another Scorpio. I'm getting Kronos energy, Father Time. I'm getting Divine Timing. I'm getting a fairy tale coming to an end, possibly, or a fairy tale about to begin, though it may seem like a fairy tale. Reality is wrong. Dreams are for, re for real. A famous Tupac quote that I'm getting as well. Um, you know, with like with the Cinderella story, how she had till midnight, the, the clock strikes 12, everything goes back to what is assumed to be real whatever the illusion is okay so the most magical hour of all midnight the number 12 could be significant for someone 12 is the energy of neptune in the tarot um the hanged man energy so aha moments truth illusions clearing okay Get the faded overall energy for your reading, and then we're going to move into the glimpse of your year 2021. Interesting 
here for Scorpios. Um, I'm a Scorpio rising. And, um... Scorpio on my 12th house. A lot of Mars energy in my chart as well. But, in terms of, like, you know, Mercury, Venus, they stayed in your, in your sign for... A good amount of time this year so a lot of reviewing matters revolving around relationships finances love communication this particular Scorpio season for you guys. A lot going on energetically, planetarily. So it'll be interesting to see what the glimpse into your year 2021 is looking like. Faded overall energy for my Scorpios, Sun and Rising, Venus, Jupiter. We have the lovers. Gemini energy here. All right. This is definitely about, you know, a promise connection a divine connection to one flame soulmate family any powerful important connection in your life um this could even rep represent secret union within yourself um balance facing your shadow your um lower nature your higher nature um coming into balance um this could also represent a head over heart decision decision a heart over head decision um very important choice um, this is the number six. Sixes are about, you know, this could also indicate birth, birthing something new, a literal birth. But uh, sixes are about choice, uh, focusing on your own desires and um, balance, okay, between two opposites and taking a risk. Okay, Scorpio. You could be having a lot of dreams, again, about something coming together, about something new, um, cultivating. Again, light before the dark, authenticity, and the most important and magical hour of all. Something in relation to um, divine timing, an illusion, um, being broken, um, time running out, divine timing, something of that nature. Yeah. In the bottom of the deck, we have death, okay? Um, that's your energy, Scorpio. Um, and it's in reverse. So, again, there is this energy here. This could be your energy or the energy of someone around you. There is an energy of resistance, okay? Resistance to something um, coming together. Resistance to a choice. Um, a re resistance to an illusion being broken. A resistance to a rising. Um, from the darkness and moving into something new uh the death card in reverse could indicate blockages you know um holding on to something that needs to end the the um resistance to someone's transformation process someone this could indicate someone who is resisting an awakening and this also could allude to obsession obsession obsessive behaviors okay So we're going to start with your predictions, um, or not really predictions, but just a glimpse into your year, okay, with Oracle cards. So it's a very, very, um, um, it's not in depth at all. It's just a, a quick glimpse for the, for the months. First, we go. A glimpse into... The year 2021 for Scorpio, Summon Rising Venus, Jupiter, please. Thank you so much. January 
2021. Oops, first, let me look at the bottom of the back. Shuffle one more time. Bottom of the deck, we have no means no. Okay, so for the year of 2021 overall, you're not looking back. There is something that you are absolutely certain about and you're defending your position. You're standing your ground. And I feel as though there's going to be a lot of energies around you that are not going to be getting the message very clearly. Okay, so January for Scorpio. You have Nirvana, okay? Uh, Sagittarius got this um, at the end of the year for 2021. You get it at the beginning because I feel as though this year, 2020, you have been seriously in the depths. Some of you in the throw of a transformation or an awakening process. Some of you... Um, ascending to higher levels but again there has been a huge amount of shadow work that's been done um you've you've been moving through the darkness and uh so to speak in so many ways um looking at yourself from an authentic space or healing to get to the space and you know demanding this and others Again, desperately breaking free from illusions. So you're starting off the year in this energy of Nirvana. This is about transcending and healing. And a state of peace and beyond love, the state of nirvana. It's going beyond the material, beyond pain, beyond all that is. And experiencing an energy that's foreign, powerful, January. What's February for Scorpio? This is like a complete detaching. You you've done a lot of work and you are transcending. February Scorpio. Commitment. Okay, um, you're either committed to your ascension, committed to your healing process, commitment. Um, in itself is just a decision to stick to what it is that you desire to focus on what it is that you want to manifest. I'm getting new businesses, promotions, you know, committing to something and sticking to it. March. Refined. Okay. Refined. You've acquired a, a certain taste. 
okay, and you are you know, and it's not selfish. It's it's not settling. You're not settling for anything less than what you deserve. You've acquired a certain taste and that's all that you see. I see you being comfortable. I see this as almost like three of pentacles energy where you are um, only allowing certain energies in your field that you can grow from, that you can learn from, where you're not the most um, efficient, empathic, caring, giving person in the room. You are in a space where you can learn and grow from others as well. Your tastes are changing. April. April, um, again, I'm getting prophetic dreams, I'm getting a lot of um, activity in the dream state. I'm also getting here that in April there could be some type of regrets, okay, um, that are coming up, things that you are thinking about, um, kind of getting nine of swords energy from this card as well, but, um, you know, it could, it could be a range, a spectrum from you know, getting a lot of sleep, uh, to being very comfortable, uh, and to having prophetic dreams and, um, um, this gore could definitely end up and be on the other spectrum of, you know, some anxieties, some, uh, certain, uh, thoughts creeping up, uh, 3 a.m. thoughts, um, about something or someone, circumstance, um, to where you're dif having difficulties, um, dealing with something, um, where there's a lot of overthinking, and you're seeking clarity in April. May. The bitch. In May, um, I feel as though some of you are the boss. You are, you know, the head of some type of company or um, stepping into your power in your business. Um, And depending on how you look at this word, it could mean just someone who's powerful, someone who doesn't take any crap from anybody, any BS. It could mean literally someone who is cruel, um, someone who is cold, calculating. Um, I feel as though you are going to be stepping kind of more into that Queen of Swords energy in May making decisions, but this could also indicate um, the energy of having to deal with um, maybe a feminine energy, okay? That could be um, possibly an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Um, doesn't have to be, but that's what's coming through um, uh, of someone who could be a bit cold, uh, someone who could be a bit manipulative, okay? Possibly. May. June. We have bear or bear of gifts in June. <clears throat> bear of gifts. Okay, June could be a month of um, a cup of comfort, okay? Um, you could be um, financially stable during this time, um, doing a lot of giving versus receiving. Um, there could be the energy in June of of someone who is bringing forth a gift in the form of truth. Someone here could be speaking some truths about themselves, confirming something to you.
in June, there could be something that's not as it seems. July. July for Scorpio. Yeah, fling. Fling. Okay. Um, in July, there could be some travel, um, possibly a cruise. I'm also getting fireworks. All right. Um, this could be the opportunity or um, circumstance where there is a meeting that where sparks fly. There could be something that um, may have started out um, at some point that turned into something bigger. And the fact that this card came out in July, um, I just feel like there is going to be um, possible explosion. And that is a matter of perspective, but truth maybe a tower um good or bad so news coming in clarity coming in but something is coming in to shake things up in july august we have the player the player now this whatever happens in july you know it could turn out that there could definitely be um, someone who could be de deceptive in matters of love, okay? Queen of Hearts, for me as a reader, is uh, Scorpionic feminine energy. Doesn't have to be, all right? It could be Pisces or Cancer as well. Um, this could also indicate you, um, being selective as well, um, being strategic about um, matters of your heart in August or being privy and wise to the games that people play in relation to um, love. September. Maturity, maturity, um, just um, wanting no parts of anything that is um, lacking, you know, having, you know, apathy for immaturity, games, people um, wearing false masks, lies. flamboyant displays of affection and attention. Um, you've been through a lot. You've learned how to see through the manipulation. There could be someone in in, um, in September, um, possibly a Virgo, doesn't have to be, um, but someone who could be maybe coming forward after maturing and um, learning lessons from a lot of games that were played in the past. Um, but what I'm getting here is that there could be someone who is putting on a good show. Um, I'm getting flamboyant with this card and flamboyant is really, it's almost just like it's like a, a big display of emotion, you know, of grand, grandiose love or affection. Um, but you are seeing through uh, the mask here in September, possibly. October. Dormant. Um, 
in October. There's going to be a lot of eyes on you. The overall energy for 2021 was no means no. So again, I do feel as though you have done a lot of healing. You have done a lot of work on yourself. Um, you're only wanting authenticity in your life. You're seeing through illusions. And I do see you committing maybe to yourself, to your business. But I also see a commitment, you know, something new possibly coming in uh, for you. But you are definitely, you're, you have a more of a refined taste now. And um, you're really seeing through anything that's not authentic. So the second part of the year, July, August, September, is as if, like, you are gaining some type of um, information through a shakeup that's going to allow you to really see through some type of illusions and moving into October you are kind of in hermit mode. You're kind of focused on yourself. Um, but there's a lot of eyes on you, okay? Um, there could be some type of investigation going on around this period. Um, but again, um, someone definitely has their eyes on you. It could be someone that you blocked. November, your month. The answer is yes. So by November, things are going to uh, start to make a lot more sense to you. Um, a lot of things that you have manifested are going to be um, literally manifesting in the 3D. Um, you know, we had a little rainbow there. So a lot of blessings coming your way, coming out of the shadows. And um, yeah, I, I, I get the energy of um, graduations. Okay, um, graduate school. Um, I'm also getting like higher knowledge, um, ascending to higher levels, spirituality, but doors are opening up, doors are opening up in November, December for Scorpio experience. So you're taking all that you um, have been through. Um, all your experiences, your wisdom, and the truth that you've learned, the healing that you've done. And in December, you're... You've faced your shadow. You can recognize the shadow of others. And no one can understand what you've been through unless they are you. And you're recognizing that. You're accepting that. And you're taking the experience and you're moving forward. 2021. Wow. So that's a glimpse into... The year for Scorpio. And we are moving into your reading. Okay. Important messages for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Again, we have the light after the dark, authenticity, and the most magical hour of all. Overall faded energy for the reading is the lovers. Head of a heart decision. Important choice. Feeling connected 
or something very powerful coming in um, in relation to a divine partner, union, harmony. Moving for the messages for Scorpio, Sun, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Important messages for Scorpio, Sun, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Who are the important messages for Scorpio? We have the Ten of Swords, Gemini energy. Okay, Gemini coming through quite strongly for you guys. <clears throat> End of the cycle here. Like I said, you guys have been through a lot. You know, you've been through the dark. And walking into the light. Ten of Swords is a lot of pain. You have the Four of Swords. More swords. More swords. In reverse. A difficult time. Giving over. Betrayal, heartbreak, pain, loss, and um, having to be forced into a timeout here by the divine. Oops, that's way too many cards. Put messages, please. the four pentacles okay releasing something a lot of loss um seven of swords i'm sorry no it's seven of pentacles bad investment and the tower in reverse wow okay so Ten of Swords, Four of Swords. With a Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Gemini, Libra, or Air with a Seven of Pentacles, Taurus, or Earth energy. So here we have the Ten of Pentacles, um, the Ten of Swords, um, Scorpio. Again, um, the swords are about communication, okay. And at the end of the day, you've been through a lot, okay, a lot of heartbreak, betrayal, pain, sleepless nights, anxiety, lack of clarity, and that brought you to the Ten of Swords. Feeling stabbed in the back, feeling hurt, feeling lost, trapped. But with the Ten of Swords, brings an ending, Scorpio. An ending that leads to a new beginning. Things are darkest before the dawn, the light after. The darkness like the phoenix you rise from the ashes okay a lot of pain here four of swords 
Four of Swords comes after the Three of Swords, okay? Three of Swords just represents more pain, more loss. This could be um, literal death, you know, someone um, having a difficult time getting over the loss of a loved one. Um, but Three of Swords, okay, four comes after three. So if you're at the four, then you had to go through three. Um, could be represent a third party situation that you had to get over. Um, and third parties could be relationships, it could be addictions, it could be, um, you know, compulsion, obsession, um, a lot of difficulties um, in your career path. Um, but again, when the Four of Swords is in reverse, um, typically the Four of Swords, it's like you're taking time out to rest and heal and gain clarity about a situation. When it's in reverse, you're having a difficult time getting over it. So this could represent um, you or someone else, you know, um, because with the Ten of Swords, this is an ending. You're surrendering and you're letting it go. It's almost like pre-death card. It's like well, this is, nothing can get worse than this. This pain, this darkness, I surrender to it. I like that, you know, I just surrender. Do what you have to do. And then with the four of swords in reverse, it's like someone having a difficult time with the fact that you have let go, that you are surrendering and moving forward into a new beginning. This could also still represent um, all that it really took to, to get past this. You know, the four of swords in reverse, um, to me, it's almost like a, a mini um, magician. In reverse card where there is um, a lot of overthinking um, can't get something or someone out of your mind regrets anxiety and it's an energetic attachment also here with the four of a swords in reverse it's like there is an energy around you that is preventing you um, from moving forward from healing and you feel almost forced in this mental space. And this could be how it's been for you in the past. This could be the energy of someone else having a difficult time letting go. Because Four of Swords, is, it's like resent, resentment and frustration. And then we have the seven of pentacles, okay? Failure. Seven of pentacles is failure. It's a bad investment. There could be energy around you of someone who is trying to prevent this cycle from ending. They want the illusion to be kept up. But their deeds are catching up to them because this Seven of Swords, again, it's in reverse. So um, this could indicate um, someone being caught, found out about, you know, something relating to an opportunity um, to get ahead in their career or to get ahead within a connection where there was foul play, okay? Um, again, the seven of pentacles here is in reverse. So something failed. Something failed here. Someone could have lost their position, their job, again, their respect in this connection someone has failed at their attempts to control a situation here it could be someone that you walked away from in a third party situation it could be the energy of someone that you walked away from could be um, attached to a specific karmic situation 
where there was a lot of investment, the wrong investment, okay, and a lot of material loss. And it could have something to do with the energy surrounding someone's death, possibly. You know, inheritance. Something to do with money, loss. No return on an investment. And I'm also getting here, also with the Four of Swords, that there is resentment about something ending. A lot of, a lot of frustration. And the last card we have is the Tower in Reverse. Mars energy, Aries, Scorpio. A tower has happened in the situation, divine intervention, the divine has stepped in. You know, usually when the tower shows up, there's been opportunities, um, there's been signs, synchronicities um, to get someone out of a situation that may have been ignored. You know, when the divine steps in, there's been plenty of opportunity. But when the divine does step in, everything is coming down. Okay, the masks are removed. The ego is, is you know, exposed. And all you can do is rebuild. Face the music. Someone could have asked for divine intervention in this situation. An end to this mental confusion betrayal, pain. And the divine showed up and um, someone is kind of ignoring this tower. Someone's in denial about an ending. And I feel as though there is someone who is definitely trying to stick around energetically here. Doing something energetically to keep someone Kind of trapped mentally but again seven of, seven of pentacles in reverse it's um something's not working in these attempts there's there's failure here somewhere all right and again with the tower being in reverse someone is definitely resisting um trying to create blockages someone could be blocked but there's obsession here as well major major denial about um an ending or about somebody's um, role in a situation that resulted in an ending. Again, this could be a literal ending, death, or figuratively, relationship, business, partnership, etc. Let's just clarify. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have temperance. So it's in reverse. Um, so this um, definitely alludes to competition, an imbalance, um, access, lack of patience, feeling disconnected um, from your guides. This could involve a Sagittarius energy. Someone is having a difficult time manifesting something that they desperately want. And again, I'm getting the energy of someone feeling as if their time is running out because a spell is being broken. An illusion is being seen through. Okay, so what is the Ten of Swords? What's the Ten of Swords for Scorpio, please? What's the Ten of Swords? Too many cards. What's the Ten of Swords? Judgment. Self-doubt. Judgment, Pluto energy, this is Scorpio energy. 
This is an ending that's happening. An ending to feeling trapped, to feeling stuck, imprisoned. Judgment is number 20, which it reduces to two. Twos can indicate conflict. Twos can also indicate something building up. Okay, and um, preparing for action. This is an ending of self-doubt. And blockages but I also get here that someone is seeing through the illusion breaking free surrendering and letting the cycle close so that rebirth can happen, so that someone can heal their karma and be renewed. You had to go through the pain to get to freedom. You had to go through the darkest of dark to reach the light. After every dark night, there's a brighter day after that. But there's something new um, that's coming in for you, Scorpio. Okay. Um, and again, cross watchers, feel free to reverse the energies. Um, this could definitely be the energy of someone that's connected to Scorpio. All right. Um, Scorpio could have walked away. Um, been dealing with focusing on themselves, breaking free of illusions, and just rejecting anything that's not authentic. Uh, authentic, And um, whoever they walked away from could be, you know, kind of surrendering. Surrendering um, and healing parts of themselves that operated in this energy. Four of Swords in Reverse, Resentment, Anger, you know, um, creating illusions, doing energetic work, etc. Something uh, to do with an ending, something that ended, something to do with an investment, a bad investment, something to do with money. But I do feel as though there was something very uh, tumultuous that happened, um, an investment that ended, something ended dramatically betrayal and someone is kind of stuck in a situation where they feel trapped blackmailed and um controlled but again there's a breaking free here trying to heal their karma and move forward <laughs> heal their karma and move forward someone's awakening here someone is ready to take the fool's journey someone's ready to take a leap of faith Aries energy, Uranus energy. What's the four of swords in reverse? Ooh, that's kind of powerful energy there. And it's the Knight of Wands in reverse, okay? It came right out and knocked over the Dawn card, which is a light after the dark, okay? So, again, there is someone um, that's coming through, all right? We have... The Knight of Wands here, Sagittarius energy or fire, um, or anyone embodying this energy. Um, the Knight of Wands in reverse, okay. Um, someone frustrated, um, someone who could have been have been blocked, someone who could have been turned down, um, someone who has a lot of passion, uh, sexually, uh, creatively, um, or just has a, a, a match of this that they want to uh, bring forth. Um, but there's been rejection here. All right, the Knight of Wands in reverse. Again, it's full of ego, okay? Um, frustrations and negativity. It's 
someone is frustrated um, about being blocked, about being turned down, because possibly they weren't standing in their authenticity. Okay. Um, again, angry energy. Um, and this could be the, the energy of someone who is, again, poor of swords in reverse is someone who can't get over an ending. Um, someone who can't see past their pain, their heartache, rejection. And again, I do feel as though this is an energetic attachment. You know, um, they can't get to you physically. So there is someone who is attaching themselves to you energetically because there's an ending coming to this cycle. And someone's breaking free of a prison, mentally or physically. And someone feels as if time is running out because it is. Breaking free of an illusion here is what's happening for Scorpio. And in doing so, there is a lot of healing, head over heart decision, heart over head decision. Um, something is coming into balance here, um, a divine connection, a soulmate situation that's been manifested. All right. Um, and it's all going to come in quick because, again, someone is releasing and letting go. Once you let go, the universe brings in what it is that you desire, what it is that you, that you manifested. Okay, and again, this Knight of Wands card flew out, knocked into the light after the Dawn card because um, someone doesn't want that light to come in. They are desperately holding on energetically here, um, creating resistance, trying to keep someone stuck um, in their mind because they are. What's the seven of pentacles in reverse? What is this bad investment? But it's not working any longer. There's a lot of loss here financially in a situation. Could be the end of a relationship. Someone made a, a bad choice, um, the wrong choice in a relationship. Someone feels stuck in this fortress, you know, with the rain, a lot of depression, a lot of darkness. Um, someone definitely could be uh, dealing with some legal issues here with all these swords, um, blackmail, um, custody, settlements. Um, We do have a lot of loss here in money. So clarifying the seven of pentacles, we have the eight of cups. Abandonment issues here. Eight of cups, Pisces energy um, or water. Clarifying the seven of pentacles. There's, there's definitely... Um, an ending here um someone is recognizing that they invested poorly and they're moving forward eight of cups but again someone is definitely trying to hold on energetically here four of swords in reverse with the seven of cups um now being clarified by the eight i'm sorry um seven of swords in reverse seven of pentacles being clarified by the eight of cups Someone has walked away from the situation, moving toward their emotional fulfillment, toward their ninth and 10th cup, because something is not being fulfilled in the situation. And whoever's in this energy, resentment, failing at something that they're attempting, someone feels hopeless, someone is hanging on, 
because they have a lot of unresolved emotional trauma that they're dealing with. This could definitely allude to emotional, mental um, confusion and someone is doing whatever they can do to hold on to a situation. Because someone has turned them down, wants no parts of a situation any longer, someone could definitely be deciding that a certain type of situation, circumstance, relationship, organization isn't working for them any longer and they decided to walk away and someone is, again, not dealing with that in the best way. With the Eight of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles and the Four of Swords together, this definitely kind of alludes to um, mental, emotional instability, energetic attachments, and acting impulsively to keep someone from moving forward. Lastly, let's see. Yeah, bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Wands. Sagittarius energy or a fire. Um, yeah, there is definitely been a, a lot of weight on someone's shoulders. Um, it's been a difficult path, um, but someone is still moving forward despite the weight. But this is another 10. This is the end. Someone had to chalk it up, accept the loss, and keep moving forward despite how hard it was. Ten of Wands. We have 10 10 now, so yes, a cycle is ending here. Clarify the tower. Six of Pentacles. You're moving forward um, things are coming into balance for you you've done the work you've done the healing you're not accepting anything that's not authentic you're seeing through the illusions okay the veil is lifting and the universe is rewarding you for your efforts bringing balance in you're no longer going to be breadcrumbed or bamboozled or taken for granted you're stepping into some type of position of power because the universe sees that you are balanced and sees that you are a genuine um, well good intended individual who deserves the rewards But this came out to clarify the tower in reverse. So in spite of this energy at the tower of, of someone who is kind of resisting, despite divine intervention, someone is resisting change. Someone is... trying to, they're having a difficult time accepting the fact that someone moved on, that this tower has happened. And they're in denial. But this tower 
ultimately has led to this balance. Breaking free of the illusions. Someone has been denying that a tower even happened, stuck at the bottom of the rubble in the darkness, in the pain, in the denial, emotionally stuck, still attempting to get results from the same actions that have failed over and over and over again. Tower, Eight of Cups in reverse, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. All failed attempts. This balance is coming to you, Six of Pentacles, because you deserve it, Scorpio. of the deck we have ace of pentacles in reverse we have the empress in reverse and we have the knight of swords upright as we end the reading here you stand balance being restored blessings Divine inheritance, equilibrium, and we still have someone coming in here. Coming in at the last minute, okay, as a Knight of Swords, Gemini energy, we have the Empress, okay, in reverse with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. The Empress is a Taurus or Libran energy, um, could also represent a Divine mask, divine Feminine energy. Um, and then the... Um, Ace of Pentacles is Earth. Okay, so there's someone who's coming in. All right, at the last minute, someone who's been stuck in this tower energy. You know, um, in the Eight of Cups, Seven of Pentacles um, energy, feeling hopeless, stuck, trying to manifest something, trying to get different results with the same actions. And they're coming forward quick, fast, in a hurry, the Knight of Swords, okay? Um, a little bit impulsive. This individual may have a difficult time expressing their emotions, but they're coming in with a message, possibly about the mother of their child, um, their mo a mother figure, okay? Or a Taurus, Libra, um, or anyone embodying this Empress in Reverse energy. They're coming with a message about a choice that they made, Um, how they're not happy when they're stuck in a situation um, with someone who is very materialistic, someone who is um, controlling, clingy, materialistic, and um, reclusive. Someone who has a difficult time manifesting or they have a difficult time manifesting with this individual okay and um again there's been a lot of corruption the ace of pentacles in reverse is corruption it's a lack of of um prosperity abundance ace of pentacles in reverse definitely um indicates greed and delays they have been stuck and delayed ever since um, coming into contact with this individual. If this is a family member, they have a lot of like unresolved um, family issues um, relating to their mother, the maternal energy. And again, with the Eight of Cups, that could definitely indicate abandonment issues. Um, someone being responsible for them um, 
not being able to manifest um, nothing that they um, attempt uh, coming forward being fruitful being stuck okay they're coming forward to impulsively and quickly um, speak about how a choice that they made and invested in wasn't anything like you or vice versa take it how it resonates but the six of pentacles is indicating someone who's fair balanced empathic giving reciprocal someone's coming forward to express or give some type of a reason why they couldn't move forward why they made a bad investment why they have been stuck but this very energy i believe is um someone who is holding on energetically and a lot of pain and resentment about being blocked or being rejected okay so those are the messages um, the energies that have come through um, pretty strongly for you, Scorpio, um, is another Scorpio for sure. Sagittarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Gemini. We have a lot of completion energy for you, 1010. We have divine energy, so this could have something to do with union. Definitely a powerful choice meeting to be made here. Important choice. And let's get some oracle guidance for Scorpio. That illusion is coming to an end here. someone knows it the end of a cycle just keep these cards because they just flew out wow almost breaking my nail <laughs> so we have guide all right so you're being guided um and um through a period where there's been some confusion, darkness, difficulties, but you are protected. There's clarity coming in. As you're moving into a whole new cycle And we have return. Um, again, like I said, um, there's definitely someone who is coming forward quickly to bring a message, okay, um, about their situation. Someone who is um, going through some karma, dealing with some interpersonal um, relationships, possibly someone that you walked away from that's in a third party. Um, um, so there could be reconciliation here, um, but you're going to have to use your discernment in terms of this in an energy that's coming through again, could be a divine masculine, divine feminine, 
divine counterpart situation. It just could be a soulmate. It could be something to do with a family member that you're having to heal some trauma with. All right. But anyway, head over heart decision here about something that's um, coming back around. Wow. Yeah. Um, we have a timeline of the spring. All right. Um, April, May, June. New beginnings. We also have the devil or bound. This is like the devil card to me, okay? Um, this could also be, um, again, having went through the darkness and coming out on the other side, recognizing restrictions, breaking ties of anything that you feel bound to. It doesn't matter who it is, family, love, addictions, career, but we do have something toxic, okay, in your environment. Again, we had the four of swords in reverse. There's some energy that is having a difficult time um, getting over a loss, heartache, abandonment issues, eight of cups in reverse, four of swords in reverse. Libra, Gemini, I'm sorry, Libra, Pisces, but at any rate, bound, this is moving past, detaching, okay, breaking free of illusions, addictions, codependent relationships, obsession, fears, it's divine timing at play here. And again, someone feels as if they are losing grip and they are, okay? You are breaking free. You are detaching, standing in your power and the illusion is dissipating, okay? And that's someone's greatest fear. There is toxic energy that's still around, but you are, um, you have done the work, you are healing and you are breaking free of the illusions. And then detaching from this energy is the only thing that's standing in the way of your your big dreams okay balance um the key to balance is in the whale of the belly i mean the key to balance is in the belly of the whale all right again i said that backwards for some reason there is an energy of someone trying to still create illusions um trying to attach themselves to your energy maybe someone doing some type of energetic work um with a huge moon there um but the truth is going to be eliminated for you. And again, you're going to have to go deep, deep into the emotions, healing um, past traumas, doing inner childhood work, facing your shadow, um, going deep into the, the ocean, into the emotional body and to um, get that key from the wheel, the belly of the wheel, so that you can find that balance that's needed to break free of the illusions. All right. And to walk straight into... Um, your destiny, your dreams, all right? So this was your reading. I hope it was helpful for you guys. Okay, remember, you are the phoenix rising from the ashes here, the light after the darkness, all right? Everything's being illuminated for you, walking into a whole new um, phase, a whole new cycle. You had 1010 in your reading, all right? The spell is being broken. Balance is being restored, all right? Relationships are being healed. Union is possible. Reconciliation is possible. Family issues being healed is possible, all right? It's time for a powerful choice to be made. And um, divine timing is at play here for you guys, okay? I hope, again, this was helpful. hope it resonated for some of you. Stand in your power. Know that I love you. Keep your vibrations high now more than ever. Spread love wherever you go. And know that even in the twilight of the darkest and coldest night of December, remember that you'll be fine. There's nothing that can stop what's truly divine until next time.